Hi and hello everybody. Uh, today in this video, uh, we shall take a look as to how you can run or install Android TV version 10 on your Raspberry Pi 4 single board computer. So this build is created by Constack. So all the credit for this build goes to him. So my part is just to make this how to video to help all others get started with this build. So first and foremost, you need to have a couple of things ready to get started with this Android version 10. So first and foremost is the Android image itself. I am not mirroring this image. So head over to this website of Constacang and click on this link and download the Android TV image. And next, uh, you need a file or a zip file to get out of the TWRP uh, recovery. That also has been provided by Constacang. Click on this recovery to boot uh, zip link in con from Constacang's website to download that file as well. And lastly, uh, you need the Google applications files or the gaps file, which are uh, the backbone of the Android TV OS. So as of today, there are not many versions of the gaps file uh, that works with this particular uh, Raspberry Pi 4 build and uh, not many are downloading as well. So based on my tests, I found the 9th of July uh, version to easily download and work well. And I'll attach the link for this in the description of this video. So click on this file and then download the gaps or uh, zip file. Okay. So we are pretty much done now. So once you have all these files ready, we can start uh, with the process of writing the image onto the SD card. So once the download of all the required files is complete, it's time to write the image onto the SD card. So you can use the default uh, Raspberry Pi image software to write the Android TV image onto the SD card. Open up the Raspberry Pi image, scroll down and choose use custom. Head over to the directory which has got your uh, image. Click on that and then choose open and then select your SD card and then choose write. So while the gaps file is being written, you can transfer the recovery to boot and the gaps file onto a thumb drive for later use. Okay, so upon the first boot, you get this nice uh, lineage OS logo. Click on next and then choose accept. Select your desired language over here on the screen. So this process is pretty much similar to the any process that you might follow to set up your Android device, be it the phone or a tablet. So you don't need to select your date and time over here. You can just skip that. Choose next. So on the screen, select your Wi-Fi network and connect your Wi-Fi. Choose next. Choose next. You can just skip this uh, step. You don't need a pin or a pattern over here right now. And now choose start. So after that jittery screen, uh, you are taken into the Android TV interface. So as such, uh, you won't have any apps and uh, you won't have any uh, Google applications installed. So, so the next uh, item on our agenda is to install the gaps or the Google applications and Google Play Store services. To do that, uh, click on the gear icon and then go into device preferences and select about and so under the list of options, scroll down until you get to this option which is build. Keep clicking on the build option until you get a notification that you have enabled developer settings or development settings. Go back and so now uh, you should have the developer options listed. Click on the developer options.
scroll down until you get to this part which is root access select that and then choose ok scroll down again and select the option which is uh, local terminal enable that and that is all you need to do in this screen you can just come out of it ok so now if you open the app draw you should see the local terminal listed over there click on the local terminal choose allow and uh, in the local terminal type su and then press enter this will give you the root access at this point type rpy4 hyphen recovery dot sh and then press enter so after this step if you reboot your pi it will take you directly into twrp okay so now type reboot So after the reboot, um, the TWRP will load, now choose swipe to allow modifications and then head over to the mount option and choose boot system vendor and select USB OTG and now you can go back and uh, head over to the install option. So as such, uh, you won't have the gaps file or the recovery file listed over here. Now head over to the select storage option and then choose USB OTG and then choose OK. So now you should have the gaps file as well as the recovery file uh, listed over here on the screen. So the first step is to install the gaps file to do that click on the gaps uh, zip file make sure to leave these two unchecked or do not check these two OK and to flash the gaps swipe to confirm flash. So after the installation of the gaps is done, uh, choose wipe Dalvik and then swipe to wipe and now head back and uh, head back again and now you need to install the recovery to boot otherwise uh, each and every time you reboot your Pi it will take you again to TWRP and not the Android TV. So now click on RPI recovery to boot zip file and then again leave these two unchecked and then swipe to confirm flash ok so now you can choose to reboot and uh, it will take you straight to your android tv interface choose system So now you will be presented with the usual Android TV uh, setup procedures. Um, choose your desired language over here. Uh, so if you want to set up your Android TV using the phone, give continue. Otherwise, you can give skip and uh, enter your uh, Gmail credentials and then sign in uh, into your Android TV. And now you will be presented with the terms of service, choose accept and if you want to give uh, your location access, choose yes and if you want to provide um, crash reports and usage data, choose yes otherwise no, choose continue, choose continue. And if you want uh, you, the Google Assistant to access your calendar and other personal information, you can choose turn on, otherwise you can choose no thanks. Okay, so we have got the gaps installed and you can see the Google uh, Play apps and uh, services on the screen. So in regards to 1080p uh, video playback on the YouTube app, so I like to point out an issue or a thing over here. So not all videos or not all 1080p videos 
are playing back smoothly so as you can see here uh, with this 1080p video i am getting a quite a lot of uh, frames being uh, dropped okay so this is mainly because of the codec over here so as you can see this codec says so this codec uh, reads abc1 64002a okay so if i try and play back a video on another codec so which is avc1640028 the 1080p video plays back without any frames being dropped as you can see there is no frame drop over here let me show you again so here is another video with the abc 164002a codec in which the frames are being dropped so here is another video which is based on abc 164002a uh, codec in which you have absolutely zero frame or zero frames being dropped so uh, 1080p uh, video playback on this build is purely dependent upon the codec so the abc 164002a has frames um, suffers from uh, drop uh, dropping frames whereas on the other hand the abc 164002a uh, codec based videos have zero frame drops So first we'll start with the 1080p video. So as you can see uh, the 1080p video is playing pretty smoothly without any frame drops. So this is a 4K video sample and uh, you can see the Pi to be really struggling and a number of frames are getting dropped and the playback is a bit jittery. So I think I would restrict uh, myself from playing just uh, 1080p videos and nothing more than that. Okay, so that is pretty much it guys. So I really hope that you find this video useful and informative. So thanks for watching. Take care and bye bye.